Happy Monday morning, everybody. So jaded. You got your mama's smile, but you're yesterday's child to me. So jaded. Who sings that? All right. Uh, coffee with Kenny. A little bit of everything this morning. First thing we're going to tackle is uh, the Formula One race out there in Vegas. Uh, how about Max Verstappen? He wins his fourth straight Formula One championship. What is the deal with Formula One? It seems to me that drivers like Lewis Hamilton with the Mercedes, and then, uh, you know, you look at Max Verstappen, it seems like they have superior equipment, and then they rattle off these unbelievable, like, six-year stints. Um, Lewis Hamilton was unbeatable, won everything. Now here's Max Verstappen. He's un unbeatable, and he wins everything. Now we're going to see what happens when I think Lewis is going over to Ferrari next year. All right. Um, but that's not the conversation at hand. There is a lot of people on X. I just hate it that that Formula One race starts so late out there in Vegas. I hear you. I agree. So let's talk about it. Uh, it's Vegas, man. And Larry, Larry McReynell, he say, nighttime is the right time. <laughs> so there is a thought that there are some small shops out there in Vegas that are just pissed that Formula One is ruining their business that one night. You know, it's a couple nights, whatever it is. For as much money, now respond right here. For as much money as that Formula One race brings in, I think I'd just bite it for a little bit. You know, I'm sure the city's going to help you out, but but I don't know everything. I'm sure there's a there's a mom or pop store that's pissed, that's, you know, getting roughed up. And I'm sure, you know, Formula One and the city is addressing it. However, they are also saying that the reason they run at night, there's the legendary gutter, give me attention so they're saying that the reason they run the vegas race at nighttime is because they just shut that they just shut that city down just for a little bit like you know vegas is normal all during the day all normal all normal and then all of a sudden like that eh. and then they then they finish the road course they put the barriers up and then they race so they're telling me, now respond right here, because once again, you know it all. I know you do, because you know everything. I think the reason they run that Vegas race so late at night is because they shut a lot of the streets down. You know, that's a short race. When, when you look at that Formula One race, that, that's a really short race, and I think that's another reason people are liking Formula One. Now, my brother Mike went out there. My brother Mike was out there, and they said it was packed. Um, they're saying that there was only 9,000 less people. Listen, I ain't going to call bullshit. I'm just going to say, okay, there it is. But Brother Mike was out there. They had a good time. It was a hell of a show. Uh, then they had a division that ran before the Formula One cars. And they said that that was a hell of a show. So, um, But I'm hearing the reason they run that race so late is because uh, they shut the city down pretty much late at night could you imagine them shutting it down for three days in a row can't happen so respond right here let me know if i'm wrong but that's what i'm hearing okay um so i'm going to interview we're gonna have a kenny conversation with joey logano on tuesday uh kenny conversation we talked about this kenny conversation goes goes as hard as before so we're gonna talk with joey logano and i know what i'm gonna ask joey uh, i saw an incredible interview with uh you know the captain roger penske roger says look man we won 42 percent of the races since a certain date this year and you know we race with the point system nascar gives us so what do you want me to ask joey logano besides stupid questions Okay, besides stupid questions, what do you want me to ask Joey Logano? All right. 
um, that's that. So we're getting ready to start Herman Schrader here in a little bit. It's early this morning on this Monday morning. Getting ready to start Herman Schrader. We got a lot to talk about. There's a lot that went on in NASCAR. As you know, uh, I tease you, NAS NASCAR's failing so bad that, uh, you know, Brad Keselowski starting that third team over there at Roush Fenway Keselowski with Ryan Priest as the third driver. And then, of course, uh, how about that Riley Herbst? Hell, I investigated Riley Herbst. I had no idea that they were jacked up with all that money. <laughs> I was like, okay, Riley Herbst is a good driver. He's won a couple Xfinity races this year, but why Riley Herbst? Well, he's a good driver, but the family owns Terrible Herbst, big old gas station chain out there on the uh, West Coast. So congratulations to Riley. And uh, hey, his family might have a lot of money, but he can drive. He can drive. And if I'm a betting man, I understand sponsorship more than anybody. I win at that. I'm going to bet. You see that Riley Herbst got Monster Energy Drink as his sponsor. I'm betting. I think they got like, what, 98 gas stations? Like a lot? Like enough to make a difference? I'm betting that uh, Terrible Herbst, Riley Herbst's family, I bet they're going to say, we will put the Monster Energy Drink in our stores if you do this. So that's the way that works, right? Riley Herbs family. Now respond right here, Riley, if I'm wrong, because I know you watch. Riley Herbs, I know you watch this. Is it a B2B deal? Because that, that's interesting. I think it's fantastic because I'm a sponsor hunting guy. I think that's fantastic. So, uh, Riley, does the gas stations, do you trade out with Monster Energy Drink? Is that the way that works? Put all the Monster Energy Drinks in the, sto in the gas stations? If so, I think that's awesome. Okay, um, so um, last night, doubleheader out there. Not, am I saying it right? Mercedes? Mercedes? Um, the first race, uh, you know, open wheel midgets. It's, it's open wheel midget time. It's open wheel midget time. You don't hear a thing about open wheel midgets all summer long, but it's time for them to shine, and I, it's exciting for me. So they're going to be out on the West Coast. They got the Chili Bowl coming up. But Corey Day, Corey Day, he's at Young Phenom. He will be driving for Hendrick Motorsport in the near future. Mark my words. This kid's younger. I think he's 18. But Corey Day wins the first A main. So they got rained out on Saturday. They got rained out on Saturday. So they did double features yesterday and into the night on Sunday night. So Corey Day wins the first feature. The second feature, uh, Kyle Larson reminds us all why he's awesome. He gets by uh, Logan Seavey in the second A main. And uh, so Kyle Larson won the second one. Um, let me see who else. Uh, mm. Buddy Colfoyd was the only driver to be in the top three. So congratulations, Buddy. That was big. And I think that's nine top three. Fives in a row for a Buddy Kofoid or something like that. So respond right here. All right, I think I think we dressed it all. I think we dressed Vegas. We dressed, uh, you know, Riley Herbst and all the new news in NASCAR. And what do you want me to ask Joey Logano? And we also addressed, uh, addressed the USAC race last night. All right, everybody. Uh, happy Monday morning.